After a long season with spectacular races throughout the year, we will finally have the WEC season finale which will be the 8 hours of Bahrain. 36 cars are confirmed for this race and is the same number from the Coda and Fuji rounds. So who are all the drivers competing at the 8 hours of Bahrain in the FIA World Endurance Championship? So let's discover them now. There will be 18 cars confirmed for the final round at Bahrain, the same number from all the full season except Le Mans. Compared to the Fuji round, we will have some changes in the driver's lineup. So let's discover all the LMGT3 drivers for Bahrain. First beginning with the Aston Martin teams which will have two cars but operated by different teams and there will be no driver's changes. The number 27 heart of racing has Ian James, Daniel Mancinelli, and Alex Riberas, while in the 777 station racing, Clement Matu, Erwin Bastard and Marco Sorensen are the drivers. The Team WRT, with two BMW M4 GT3 cars, will also not have any changes. The 31 will have Darren Leung, Sean Galeal and Augusto Farfus, while the sister car number 46, Ahmad Al-Harthi, Valentino Rossi and Maxime Martin are the drivers. The next one is the Vista AF course with two Ferrari 296 GT3 cars. The 54 will have Thomas Floor, Francesco Castellacci, and Davide Rigan. And the 55 will still have Francois Herio, Simon Mann, and Alessio Rovera. Now it's time for United Autosports with two McLaren 720S GT3 Evo also without any changes. The 59 will have James Cottingham, Nicolas Costa, and Grégoire Saucy. And at the 95, Josh Cagill, Nico Pino and Marino Sato are the drivers. Now the Lamborghini teams in the LMGT3. In the car number 60 Iron Lynx will have a single change with Matteo Caroli replacing Frank Pereira. Claudio Schiavoni and Matteo Cressoni remain. And the 85 Iron Dames, the lineup keeps the same with Sarah Bovi, Rahel Fry and Michelle Gadding. The next team is Proton Competition with two Ford Mustang GT3 cars and we will also have changes in their driver lineup. The car 77 will still have Ryan Hardwick, Zachary Robichon and Ben Barker, but in the sister car number 88, Giorgio Rota is back after not competing in Sao Paulo, Coda and Fuji, but Mikkel Peterson will be replaced by IMSA full-season driver Gianmarco Leverato. And the third driver in the 88 will still be Dennis Olsen. So here comes the Akodi's ASP team with two Lexus RCF GT3 cars and there will also be a single driver change. In the 78, Arnold Robin and Kelvin van der Linde remain, but Clemens Schmid will be replaced by Conrad Larsen. And in its sister car number 87, Takeshi Kimura, Esteban Masan and Jose Maria Lopez will still be the drivers. The next team is TF Sport with two Corvettes GT3 cars. Unlike Iron Lynx, Proton Competition and Akodi's ASP team, there will be no changes in their driver lineups. The 81 will still have Tom Van Rompuy, Rue Andrade, and Charlie Eastwood, while the 82 will still have Hiroshi Koizumi, Sebastian Bod, and Daniel Junkadella. And finally Porsche teams with Manti cars also without any driver's changes. The number 91 Manti EMA will have Yasser Shaheen, Morris Schuring, and Richard Leitz. And the new LMGT3 champions, the number 92 Manti Pure Racing the drivers are Alex Malikin, Joel Sturm, and Klaus Backler. And finally let's talk about the hypercar, which is the top class of the FIA World Endurance Championship. Like it was at Austin and Fuji, there will be 18 cars competing at Bahrain because Isada Freschini left the WEC after the 6 hours of Sao Paulo. And like in LMGT3, we will also have some changes in the driver's lineup. So let's check them now. So first of all let's start with the Cadillac racing operated by Chip Ganassi car number 2. For being an 8 hour round. Three drivers are mandatory and with that Sebastian Bourdais is back after competing with the two at Qatar and will compete alongside Alex Lynn and Earl Bamber, giving hints that this trio could be one of the Cadillac Jota lineup in 2025. The next team is Porsche Penske Motorsport which is close to be the hypercar champions with the six crew. And the lineup has no changes in both cars. The number five will still have Fred Makowiecki, Matt Campbell and Michael Christensen. And the hypercar championship leader number six, the drivers are Andre Lotterer, Kevin Ester, and Lawrence Van Thor. Now let's talk about Toyota Gazoo Racing. At car number seven, which is also a hypercar driver championship contender, the drivers are Kamui Kobayashi, Mike Conway, and Nick DeVries. And at the sister car number eight, Brendan Hartley, Rio Hirakawa, and Sebastian Buemi are the drivers. Now it's time to talk about the Hertz Team Jota. At car 12 which became hypercar team champions at Fuji, Callum Islet, Will Stevens and Norman Nato will be the drivers. And at its sister car number 38, Jensen Button, Oliver Rasmussen and Phil Hansen will still be the drivers there. 
The next team is the BMW WRT team which will also remain the same lineup compared to all the previous races this year. First the car number 15. Driss Van Thor, Marco Whitman and Rafael Martiello are the drivers. And in its sister car number 20, the lineup has Rene Hast, Robin Frins and Sheldon van der Linde. Now let's talk about the Alpine Endurance team. Like Cadillac, there will be several changes in their lineup in both cars. In the 35, Paul Luchatton returned after not competing at Fuji, but Jules Gaunon was kept alongside Ferdinand Habsburg. And Charles Malesi moved to the car 36 alongside Mathieu Vaxivir and Mick Schumacher because Nicolas Lapierre decided to retire after the six hours of Fuji and now the Frenchman will focus only on team management. The next team is Ferrari AF course. First beginning with the factory cars. In the car 50 which is also a hypercar championship contender, Antonio Fuoco, Miguel Molina and Nicholas Nielsen are the drivers confirmed. And in its sister car number 51, Alessandro Pier Guidi, Antonio Giovinazzi and James Collado are the drivers. And in the customer car, the number 83, Robert Kubica, Robert Schwartzman and Ife Yi are the drivers. The next team is Lamborghini Iron Lynx with a single car number 63. Eduardo Mortera, Daniil Kvyat and the new DTM Mirko Bordelotti are the drivers. Now the Peugeot Total Energies. In the 93, Mikkel Jensen, Nico Muller and Jean-Eric Verne are the drivers confirmed. And in the sister car number 94 Loic Duval, Paul Di Resta and Stoffel Van Dorn are the drivers. And finally the car number 99 Proton Competition. Also no changes in the driver lineup with Harry Tinknell, Julian Anlauer, and Neil Yanni. So these are all the drivers which will be competing at the FIA World Endurance Championship season finale at Bahrain. So who's gonna win this race? Which team are you going to support? And who will be the 2024 Hypercar Champions? So tell below in the comment sections. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to not lose more videos about IMSA and WEC. We see you in the next videos.